The important thing about keyhole surgery, as the name implies, is that the surgery is done through very, very small incisions. So if you can visualize what a keyhole is like, this is probably the size of the incisions that we make in the abdomen. And we make a series of them, usually in the range of about four to five small incisions uh, that will allow us to put in a camera plus long special slim instruments to do the work of the surgery to remove the cancer. So when you have small wounds in the body, obviously immediately after surgery, the pain is significantly less compared to the traditional open surgery where we have to make a long cut ranging from 15 to 20 centimeters. When you have small wounds, they heal faster. Uh, when we are doing bowel surgery, one of the feared complications is of course wound infections and again small wounds means there is less to be infected and of course consequent to less pain patients are able to move about uh, quicker after surgery they can breathe better uh, without having pain and as a result of that overall their recovery and their stay in hospital is much shorter. Cosmesis, of course, is a bonus. It's not the key reason why we do keyhole surgery, uh, but it is the aforementioned benefits of less pain, faster recovery uh, that will benefit the, the patient. If you look at a lot of the clinical studies data, uh, because your instrumentation, your incisions are very small and when your instruments are smaller, the progress of surgery is also slower. So it's very obvious that keyhole surgery tend to take a little bit longer than conventional open surgery. Uh, uh, I would say on the average it may take maybe about 30 minutes to an hour longer. Um, the only other thing that one may need to consider, of course, is the instrumentation for keyhole surgery costs a little bit more. Uh, it, it's understandably so in view of the technology used, uh, but I think it's worthwhile. And we have done uh, cost-benefit analysis, uh, looking at the total bill size of our patients who undergo keyhole surgery versus those who undergo open surgery. And the conclusion of that study is that there's no significant difference. Uh, so the increased cost in instrumentation, the slightly longer operating time, uh, the, the cost of that is offset by the savings you get by the faster recovery, the lower complication rates that you get uh, when compared to open surgery. So that is why uh, laparoscopic surgery has taken off in such a big way. In situations where the cancer is very huge, it may have involved other organs, then the complexity of the surgery becomes much bigger. The removal of uh, the cancer will entail removing several organs at one time. And in this situation, you know that the organs and the cancer being removed are so huge, there's no way you can squeeze it out through one small incision. And it would stand to reason that an open surgery with a larger incision may be more expeditious, may be more safe, and of course, at the end of the day, the cancer can be dealt with more effectively.